So let us understand what is a share, what is its face value, market value and the other stuff. Now for this we will consider a company, oops that's too big, yes that's right, we will consider a company whose valuation turns out to be 5 lakh dollars. Now the owner wishes to make this company a huge one. So what does he need? He needs some money. Now the money has been already invested. He needs extra $50,000 so that the company can expand. The $50,000 that is approximately 10% of the company value. So what he decides, he decides to sell 10% of his company to the other persons. Now if he sells it to a single person, that is termed as partnership. So he will have a partner whose profit sharing ratio will be 1 is to 9. But if it decides to make different parts of that 10% that will be called as share. So if it decides to have 1000 shares, so we have 50,000 divided by 1000, each share will be costing around $50. So that $50 is called as the face value of the share. Okay, so what is a share? It is a part ownership in the company and what is the face value? The face value is the price of that part ownership. And the person who holds the share is called as a shareholder. Now there are thousand different shares, so there can be thousand shareholders. Now, once we have the shareholders, we can see the shareholders can move on to share market to sell and buy the shares. Now the company earns a profit of around fifty thousand. What company does? Company pays the shareholders some dividend. Now the more the profit, the more the dividend. Now once the company is paying dividend. People try and get the share of the company somehow, even if they have to pay extra. So the face value which is $50 now becomes $60. So that is called as the market value. So what's the market value? It's the value at which the share is purchased or sold. So the increase in the price of share from the face value to the market value is called as premium. So the premium is $10. Now exactly the same way, the company attracts some loss it won't be able to pay dividend to the shareholders. So what happens? The shareholders try and get rid of the share which they have. They are willing to sell the share even for $10 less than the face value. So the price of the share decreases. So the market value comes out to be $40. Now we can see the market value is less than the face value by $10. So we can say the share has been discounted for ten dollars. Well, there's one more thing to be understood. The dividend. Now, what is exactly the dividend? Now, the company is in profit. The ten percent of the company has already been sold, right? So, the ten percent of fifty thousand comes out to be five thousand. This five thousand dollars is to be distributed among the shareholders. Now, there are thousand different shares, and hence each share will attract a price of five dollars. So. The $5 is the part of a profit which the company pays to the shareholders and that is called as the dividend. Okay. Now let us understand two important ratios that is the rate of dividend. It is calculated by the dividend per share that is the $5 upon the face value which is 50 into 100. That comes up to be 10%. The another important thing is the rate of dividend. If the share is purchased at the market value then the rate of return is calculated by dividend upon the purchase value or the investment into 100. So that comes up to be 8.33%. So these are some important aspects regarding the share, the face value, the market value, the discount, the premium, the rate of dividend and the rate of return.